Hey, hi, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Spanga Tucson, our homework division. My name is Marissa and I'm one of the instructors here. If you've never worked out with us before, we do 20 minutes of spin, 20 minutes of strength, and 20 minutes of yoga all combined together for the best workout ever. So we can't wait to have you guys back in studio once we are able to open and we're hoping that that is soon. Today I have a boxing style format for you. We are going to do four rounds. They are three minute rounds each with a one minute recovery in between. All you need today is one set of light dumbbells and I emphasize light because we are going to be using them for punches and we don't want to uh, hurt our shoulders here. Options to use soup cans, bands, whatever else you've got, go ahead and grab them, your small child, figure it out, we'll make it work. All right, another thing is if you have uh, tender wrists and you like to do plank work on a mat, that's another great thing to have today. Other than that, grab some water, maybe a towel to wipe yourself off, and let's get ready to work. We're gonna start it off with a nice little warm up here today. I want you to bring your feet hip distance apart. We're gonna squat it on down and take it back up. So just really warming up that body, making sure we're sitting back in our heels, our chest is proud and abs engaged. You can have your arms out here, out here, up here, whatever works for your body here. So keep it going. You're gonna give me about five more reps or so. <laughs> just starting to get everything moving, making sure we are ready, our blood is pumping and we're ready to work. If you need a little bit more of a warm up, we do also have warm up videos that you can check out as well. Give me one more rep here. All right, stand it all the way up. I want you to take your knees up and we're gonna come in little adductor abductor work. So stretching out those hips, bringing it out to the side. Let's do a couple more on each side here and then we'll start to bring them in. Good, so switch it up, knee comes out to in. So it's like we're opening and closing the door. If you need to have something or someone to hold on to, go ahead and find that as well. The power of these home workout videos is that you can always pause it where you need to or where you want to. Do one more on each side for me. Awesome. All right, take those legs out nice and wide. We're gonna reach the arms open like a T. I want you to slide one hand down, a little triangle action, getting into those hips. Big breaths in and out here. Good, let's take it to the other side. So back up like a T, reaching, 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 and drop it on down. So finding that nice stretch, activating your hips. Good, stand it back up for me. Shake out those arms, we're gonna take it forward and back. Some nice cross body, little hugs, little movement. We've got about 50 seconds left in our warm up and then I'm going to explain our first round of exercises. I'm super excited to be doing a boxing with you guys today. We're gonna to be doing just a little bit of punches and things like that. All right, take some arm circles here forward for me, nice and small. Breathing in and out, taking our time. Good, go ahead and take it back. Take those circles back for me. Once again, nice and small. Always keep a gentle bend through your knees. You can see that I step around a lot and that's just so I don't lock out my knees. Go ahead and relax those shoulders down. Reach the arms up. Exhale to the toes. Sweep it back up to the ceiling. We're gonna do two more of those. Take it down. Reach back up. Woo, take it down. And come back on up. Shake it out. Grab your water in those dumbbells if you don't already have them. So our first round of exercises. You can do everything without dumbbells today or without weights at all, that is totally fine. We're gonna come into a cross body uh, punch, a little bend through those knees, take it across and across. So I'm using dumbbells here, you do not have to. Find a little bounce through your knees, lots of power. All right, and then we're going, we're gonna do 10 of those total, so five on each arm, and then right into 10 jumping jacks. So 10 of these bad boys right here, option you can always Step it out. And then we are going into 10 crunches. So you're gonna take it all the way down on the ground for me, heels on the mat, elbows out, crunch it up, and back down. So 10 of those. So obviously 10 plus 10 plus 10 is not going to equal three minutes. You're gonna do 10 of each 
and rotating through the round, you're gonna start back with those punches, back into 10. All right, let's get ready. Three, two, one, we are punching it out. So 10 of these guys here, and you don't have to be on pace with me at all. Find what works for you. So once you do those 10 punches, you are going into 10 jumping jacks. And the goal is to get as many rounds as you can through this workout. Find what works for you. After 10 jumping jacks, we know where we're going. We're getting down on that floor, 10 crunches. Squeezing through those low abs right here. Big crunch in, make sure you're scooping so that low back is on the mat the whole time. Beautiful, my friends. We are already 40 seconds in to our three minute round. You guys are killing it. Give me what you got. No matter if you are in these punches, whether you are here in those jumping jacks, whether you are all the way down here, giving me 10 nice, beautiful crunches, squeezing that core. Woo. Work with where you got. All right, my friends, you have a minute and 50 seconds left. So we are over one third of the way through. I know that doesn't feel like a lot. Three minutes is a long round, but this is where that mind over matter, that you versus you mentality that Svenga is all about comes into play. And it's okay if you get off count, if you start losing yourself here, maybe you end up doing 20 punches, that's all right. Just hop right into the next movement when you start to realize. Give me what you got. You are over halfway through this round already. We have a minute and 20 seconds to go. Come on, my friends. Maybe we're punching with or without those dumbbells. You can make this more cardio going all body weight. Maybe we're here. Woo! 10, 10, and 10, my friends. Let's go. And then maybe we're down here. We have one minute to go in this round. Complete what you can. Do what you can. How many more rounds do you have in you? Let's go. 50 seconds. These are quick rounds. So maybe you're someone who's able to get 20 rounds in these three minutes, 30 rounds in these three minutes. What can you push yourself to do here? After these last 35 seconds, that's all you have left. You get a minute break, and I'm gonna explain the next three sets of exercises. So this is the only time that you have to do these three exercises in this workout. Let's go. You are almost there, my friends. Come on, we have 20 seconds left in this set. Let's go. All right, beautiful. Last 12 here. How many reps are you gonna get in? Give me what you got. Beautiful, last five, four, three, two, and one. Take that rest. So our next round, we are going to continue with our punches here but we're going into cross body uppercuts. So if you don't know what an uppercut is, we're gonna take it up underneath. So it's almost like a cross body curl with a little more oomph to it. So I'm still using my lower body, staying stable through the core. Our next exercise, we've got squat twist. So you're gonna end up doing 10 total, so five on each side. Take it down, elbow to knee, across that body, beautiful. And then we are going into bird dog. So you're going to take it all the way down to the ground. Tabletop position here. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach out, elbow to knee. So five on each side. Option to just take that leg, that knee in and out. We've got about 10 more seconds to grab that last sip of water. With or without those dumbbells, we are going into those uppercuts. In three, two, one. So take it and let's go. So 10 here. And then we are going right into squat twist. So right here, finding what you got, finding a tempo, a pace that works for you. Remember, this is a three minute round. So we don't need to rush here, but we do wanna keep that heart rate up. We wanna keep our bodies working. After those squat thrusts, I want you to find your bird dog. So we're all the way down here, staying stable, reaching out, squeezing in. And you can do five on one side and then five on the other or alternate as you go. Work with what feels best for you today. Nice, my friends. 
You have right around two minutes left. So one minute is already cut off this round. Let's go, keep it going. What do you got for me here? Are we in those punches? Woo. Are we in those squat twists, which is one of my absolute favorite cardio movements ever. So awesome. Gets into the obliques, gets your heart rate up. We're still working those legs. Beautiful. Bird dogs as well, so stable, great for the core. Hang out here, my friends. You are right around halfway through this round. You can do this. Hang on to it. 90 seconds to go. That is it. Give me what you got. Whew. This is a great workout to do right before one of our yoga homeworks. Just to throw a little plug in there while you guys are working it out at home. Come on now. Yes. We have a minute and 10 seconds to go. Give me what you got. Are we uppercutting? Are we squat thrusting? Woo! Yes, we are. Let's go. No matter where you're at, these last 55 seconds are giving me everything you have. We are almost halfway through this workout already. It's a quick one. Boxing is speedy. It is 16 minutes of really, really hard work, all right? Come on, you are almost there. 40 seconds left here. Maybe you're in those bird dogs. Really squeeze into the core for me here. Nice, stable face through that opposite arm and opposite knee. Let's go, my friends. Brilliant. Switching it up a lot on you here. We've got a little bit of everything in each of these rounds. A little bit of upper body, a little bit of core, a little bit of legs. You've got 15 seconds. You versus you. Wherever you're at, whichever exercise you are in, stay where you're at. Even if you go over 10 seconds or 10 uh, reps, give me five, four, three, two, and one. Take that rest. All right. Our next set of exercises. We are going into squat, pulse, up. So that's one rep. Squat, pulse, and stand. So you're gonna do 10 of those. Option to drop the pulse and just go into bodyweight squats, that's fine. From here, really quick transition for you. You drop those hands, we're going into sprawl. So you send those legs back, hop them forward, heels come to the mat, hands go up. You can always step it out and take it up as well. Our final exercise for this third round are side plank dips. So you're coming down onto one elbow and you're gonna come down and up. Option to bring a foot in front. All right, we've got three, two, and one. So you're going into those squat pulses for me. Get nice and low, add that pulse and take it back up. Remember, we're still 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. So on those planks, I want you to do five on one side, flip it over, five on the other, and then you're taking it right back up for me here. So, wherever you are at, I'm sure a lot of you have already sped through those squats, you're probably already in your sprawls, and it's okay if you hate me a little bit here. This is not an easy round. Round three is notoriously tough in boxing, both physically and mentally, but this is where you dig in and you prove to yourself that you can get it done. Because we are almost a full minute in already, so keep it moving for me here no matter where you're at. Maybe you're in those side planks. So we're here dipping down. And it's only five on each side, so you can think about it that way too. If you wanna up the ante and you wanna do 10 on each side, each round that you go through, go for it. If you want that little bit of extra core, little bit of extra obliques, all you here for me. Come on. We have a minute and 45 seconds, so you are well over that first minute mark. I see you at home, I know you're working, I know you can do hard things. I remind you all the time in every class that you can do hard things, and I'm gonna keep saying it, because you can and you will. That's why you're doing this workout. Give me 90 more seconds, 10, 10, and 10. Try not to break your rhythm here, going into it, finding those squat pulses, Finding those sprawls, sending it out, back in, take it up, nice little squat. 
You are almost there. We have one minute to go in this round. That is it. Let's go. Dig in for me here. Come on, my at-home friends. You are working so hard. You can see I'm sweating. Definitely did my live right before this. So if you wanna go get a shoulder workout, head over to our IGTV and that is on there. We have 45 seconds left here. Let's go. Beautiful. Wherever you are at, whatever part of this workout you are at or in, finish it out. Don't give up on yourself, all right? If you need to, take that kickstand leg. Still coming into those side plank pumps. Switching it to the other side. Maybe seeing if you can come all the way up on this side. And if you can't, that's okay. Use your kickstand. Brilliant, we have 10 more seconds. What are you gonna do with it? One more one minute rest, one more three minute round. Whew. We've got three, two, one, take that rest. All right, last round, best round, my friends. We've got plank walks, high knees, and pullover crunches. Yes, you can. All right, plank walks. We are up nice and high, hips are low, abs engaged. Walk it down onto those forearms, walk it back up. I want you to do five in one direction, five in another. So high knees, exactly what they sound like. This time you're doing 10 on each leg, so a total of 20 for our high knees. Take them up, option, step it out. This is great, this is fine. Pull over crunches, with or without a dumbbell. So taking those legs out nice and long, dumbbell or just your arms go up overhead, reaching to the center of the chest, sit it on up, big reach to the sky, slow on your way back down. 10 of those right there. Awesome, my friends, let's get ready. We've got three, two, and one. Getting right into those plank walks here. So starting in your low plank or your high plank, your choice, five in one direction, so one arm, and then five in the other where you're taking it the other way around so we make sure our shoulders are nice and even, my friends. Yes, brilliant. Whew. I know this is spicy. This is our last round. This is the hardest it gets, but you are here to work it out, to do hard things. Come on, my friends. All right, so don't forget, right after those plank walks, high knees, 20 of them, Give me what you got, a little hop or walking it out. Both of these, totally valid. But with your high knees, 10 on each leg or 20 total. So keep it working here. We have two minutes left in this workout. You're already a minute in to this round. Join me for some pullover crunches if you are there. Taking it back, arms up, engage those core. Sit it back down and here we go. So each of these exercises takes a little bit more time than say the ones in round one and two did, and that's okay. So it's gonna take you a little bit longer to complete the whole set of three exercises. So I want you to make a commitment to yourself to get as many rounds in as you can in these final 90 seconds. That is all you have left in this workout. Let's go. Really dig in for me here. Find it in yourself to finish strong. Yes, almost there. Yes, we can, yes, we will. All right, my friends, maybe you're in those high knees. Maybe you're like, oh, Marissa, I can't do anything more than stepping it out. That is okay. You are still moving. That is the goal. Here at Spanga, the only thing is that we do not stop moving. Wherever you are at, you can always take it into a body weight squat, a step up, a back lunge, Whatever works for your body is what we aim to do in this space. This is your workout. It's not my workout. I may have created it, but it is your workout here today. You have 40 seconds left. You versus you, finish it out. I hope you guys are sweating. I'm definitely sweating. Let's get it done. Beautiful. Final 30. Yes, we can. Are you in those pullover crunches? This is one of my absolute favorite exercises probably ever. Nice, strong core. Finding it. Really functional movement too, making sure that we can sit up safely with a strong back, strong spine. 
and strong abs. Beautiful. You have eight more seconds, my friends. Get it done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Congratulations. You have finished our boxing workout today. I want you to stand up nice and tall no matter where you're at. So if you just finished those plank walks or those pullover crunches, get up off the ground for me here. And I want you to take a couple nice big breaths in and out while we're standing. Reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, take them back to the sides. Two more just like that, big reach. Exhaling down. Last one, big reach. And exhaling down. Please, I encourage you, if you have the time to do so, spend about 10 minutes stretching. If you want a guided stretch, go find one of our yoga homework videos. We've got a bunch that range from power yoga to something a little bit more gentle, if that feels better on your body today. Get in a little extra water, and I can't wait to join you in person or next time on one of our homework videos. One little bit of positivity before I send you on your way. I know this is silly, but I got new shoes this week. They're new TMs, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So that is my little bit of positivity, and I will catch you next time. Bye, Swanga fam.